In this video, I'm going to show you how to start a new project in the CoIDE integrated development environment. When you first start the, the CoIDE environment, you will first be introduced to the welcome screen, which has all of the information that you may need to start a new project, open an existing project, and look in the repository for libraries that you may need for your project. You can always get back to this welcome screen if you lose it by clicking on this icon and you can go to the repository by using this icon. Let's go ahead and create a new project. I'm going to click on this icon. You're going to be presented with a screen that allows you to select. You can select a variety of microcontrollers starting with the manufacturer. Included in this selection is controllers from ARM, Freescale, NXP, Nuvoton, ST Micro, Toshiba, and Spansion. In this video, we'll be focusing on the ST Micro line of microcontrollers, and the F0 series is what we're going to be using initially. You can select, this is the um, particular series that is selected at the moment, but you can look at different series of microcontrollers the F2, or I'm sorry, the F0, the F2, F1, all the way through the F4 and the L0 and L1. The controller that I'm using is the F030 series of my controllers and the R8T6. So I can just select that and then create the new project from this microcontroller. You are presented with a dialog box that will allow you to put in a project name and it shows you the path that you can use for these projects. And this is a default path. The co-IDE, it's going to be under your, your main user um, and then workspace subfolder under the co-ID folder. I'm going to name this project GPIO Tutorial. Click Finish to continue. This screen is rather important because it's going to give you all of the, show you all of the libraries and different resources that will enable you to program for this specific microcontroller. For this microcontroller, there's not really that many resources available. The sort of course resources are provided and that's really all we need anyway. The main resource you'll need is this STM32F030X8 boot. And when you click on it, it's going to add the other resources that it requires for the proper functioning of the library that you select. So let's go ahead and click on that. You, and I'm just showing you what's within that particular library. This is like the readme file for the actual library itself. And, it'll, and you can click on uh, these links to find out the various features of this particular library. And if there's more information, you'll be able to scroll down. To get back to the previous page, you can just click on this link here. And I'm going to click on the add for that particular library. And you'll notice that it's requiring the CMSIS core, which is a library that's specific to ARM, the ARM architecture. If you made a mistake and did not want to add that particular library, you can just press remove. And you'll also notice that those files and folders appear on the left hand side in this pane under the project pane. And you can check all of the header files that are within these library folders. The main headers that you'll be using are these two headers here. Even though this is labeled source, you'll be using these as the, the include headers. You can also look at other headers, header files that, that exist within the, the resource that was installed. This completes setting up the new project. You can go ahead and get out of the, the welcome screen and the repository screen. Of course, you can always get back to it if you just click on these icons. And you can open up your main.c file, which has the, the main entry point and the never ending loop. We should be able to build this program, even though there's really nothing in it. It should be a working program, and you'll find your build information on the bottom. When you build, you'll notice initially that there are a lot of errors that appear in your console. Let's take a look at this error in more detail. You can see there's a lot of them, but each one is actually referring to a single file. So the issue is that the STM32F0XX HAL config, there's no such file as directory, so it can't find this particular file. 
and it's referring to this file in this header file. So if you open up this one, you'll see that it has an include that tries to include this file. And it's within an if else statement where it will use this file if this define has been um, found as true, or it'll use this file, which is trying to, if it's false. What we need to do is we need to find out uh, where this file is actually located and see if we can get that file into its proper location. So I'm going to minimize this a little bit. You'll also um, notice when, we, when you look into the real file structure that this does not show the same um, information as the file, as the Windows Explorer would show, like the, the hierarchy of folders. So let's take a look at that. Here is the folder for the GPIO tutorial on the actual hard drive, exactly where we specified it to be saved under the workspace folder. And you'll see several folders, many of which are not located or are not shown in the project hierarchical breakdown of folders and, and files. We need to go into this folder because that's where the error is showing us what we need to go. Um, it pertains to the actual the, um, the ST header files. And you'll also notice this, um, this Kukox master is not shown up in here either. So that could get a little confusing. So go into the STM32 F030X8 boot. And this is where all of the, the stuff that's in here, the um, include and source will be under the source. And you can see that here. So the boot, which is, is this, will have this information in it, which shows nothing that's here, actually. And you have to go into the actual source. So let's take a look at where it's looking for that file. The actual file um, that it refers to is under the GPIO IO tutorial components Kukox master, which this is the physical, um, the file folder uh, um, information. And then it has the, the boot, which we were just in, and then source, and then include the STM32F0XX HAL. And it should be, this config file should be either there or in the source folder. So let's take a look at that. So this is the source folder we're in right now. And if you go into the include, we're not going to find that that config full, um, file. Only the one that has the template in there is, is shown. But I did find it. I actually searched through this, um, this structure. And I noticed that that file was loca located under test. So I'm just going to do a copy and paste. Control C or you can use copy and then go back to the boot and then into the source and I'm just going to put it in this folder here so I'm going to paste it or control V and now let's try to let's try to uh, build it Actually, I'm not in the right file here. Let me. We're trying to build this particular file, so let's build it here. Okay, so build successful. Total time one second. So that is how to create a new project in the CoIDE. Unfortunately, there's a little bit of a, a hitch when you're doing that, but it's a simple. Uh, there's a simple solution to make it work. So in summary, what we've done is we've created a new project using the welcome screen. We associated that project to the correct microcontroller. And we built this file after correcting a, an error that we found in the build by adding one of the needed dependencies. Thank you for watching.